Okay, so hello and welcome in the next episode of Cyber Potato. And here we will finally make our authentication system work. So there are a few things that are missing here. For example, um, we don't really know, uh, we don't really store the token that we're getting from the, um, from the API. And as you can see here, uh, the response that we're receiving here is of type any. And um, anytime you're using TypeScript and you're seeing never type or any type, you can basically assume that you forgot to type out something. So let's fix that real quick. And um, after we log in correctly, you can see that this is the answer. Okay, so it's created ID, token, and username. So let's use that to prepare our interface. Uh, we'll call it login API response. And this is created string, ID string, this is token, same, same, and the username, same. Okay. And now we can add it here. Uh, access request is of a uh, generic type. So, yeah, basically you have to specify it in the diamond parentheses. Uh, and let's uh, do, let's just store the token. So, um, I will write a little simple helper function. Uh, I will create a key first, balance it. Uh, token key, okay, it's gonna be whatever, it's, it's just a key for the local storage, doesn't matter, store token, we're, we're passing token as a string, and we are doing lock how storage set item balance is token key token okay it's nice it's fine here we can call store token with response Res uh, with response token okay now this is fine so now if we log in actually see the um, token being stored right here okay but as you can see we weren't logged in okay so why is that maybe it is because we didn't provide the context or router. As you, of course, remember, we're using this with authentication function to protect some of our routes. And mm, we expect the token to be av avail available in the context. Okay. And we can do it rather easy because router takes a context, as you can see, as an object. And I can say that this is an object that has token property that is uh, taken from local storage. Okay, so let's try this now. Okay, it works. Great. We clear this. We're being taken here. And here, but now that I've clicked login and I can see that bounce with token key is set up, 
I'm clicking login and I'm not being taken to ideas page. And why is that? Okay, so let me break that out. First, this is rendered once. Okay, it's not being re-rendered anytime soon. It would get re-rendered if routes are changed or context is being changed. And at the very start, if we don't have the um, this entry in local storage, the token is undefined and our authenticated routes uh, are working correctly because they're not letting us to the ideas page. But obviously, I would like to be redirected uh, if, uh, if the token is being set up correctly after the login. Okay, now if I do it, it will take me to ideas page because the token was available in the local storage from the start. Okay, but again, if I clear this, okay, Work. Um, yeah, it works. Okay, but just to be safe, I'm going to show you how you can um, modify uh, the context of a react uh, router uh, of uh, sorry react navy mm, programmatically okay it's pretty much the same we can change this a little bit so first things first i would like my uh, login function to return the token Okay, so basically I am doing the same here, so I can just, how do you do it? We can unpack it once again, and here now I'm having a token, and this is just that. Okay, so here I'm gonna get a token in the response, and I can just say, well, navigation set context and here I can refresh it uh, once I get the token and uh, this is going to be <laughs> error and token and I will clear this do that and that okay now it's better uh, let me see. Okay. And now it should always work as expected. Okay. So we are here in our ideas page and it's great. And, and then, then this is working and this basically finishes with the um, with the authentication stuff so we have this boilerplate out of the way and we can start working on on our pages yeah so well, you know maybe not well let's let's make it pretty first let's work on um, on making it look good because now this is fine but it's not real eye candy we can fix this um, yeah and we should fix this okay so I'm gonna create our file and I'm gonna call it alf components dot ts uh, T 
PS, please. Oh, it's uh, already here. Okay, okay, sorry. It was blind. Okay. And we can start working on it. So, uh, how I imagine it looking is like mm, two columns, okay? And the left one would be for some kind of, I don't know, logo or graphic stuff or anything like that uh, and the right side is gonna be just our yeah just our fantastic login form okay so i'm gonna start by um by writing the out wrapper and it's going to be rather easy because uh, this is going to wrap our whole page and this is tailed main and it's going to be display flex okay so nothing fancy here then i'm gonna i would like two columns to be divided with 70, 75% first and 25% second. So we're gonna do just that. I'm gonna call the, le the left column violet field, field because it's gonna be uh, violet, as you can imagine. Uh, okay, and <laughs> This is gonna be flex free, and I'm gonna do something like background color is gonna be two nine zero three five eight. Okay, and then I'm gonna do um, form wrapper. Um, yeah, form wrapper, and it's gonna be style div two, and it's gonna be display flex. Uh, well, we don't need it from the very start, but let's just do flex x one. Okay, and let's uh, apply it. So I'm gonna need out. No, I'm gonna. Yeah, out wrapper, let's go like that. Okay, whoops, we can do this, and this is going here. Um, here we're gonna have this violet field, and this is awesome. And here we're having the form wrapper. okay okay yeah so we basically have those two columns the problem is um the left side is matching it height to the right side we can fix it rather easily and one of the ways we can do just that is by saying um, that our wrapper should have mean height of this and we can yeah so this is basically the view height you uh, you need and one view height is basically one percent of the height of the viewport so if you'd like something to spread across whole viewport, you just type 100 view height. And this will stretch it from top to bottom. Okay, so this is nice. And yeah, and we'll leave it at that. And 
continue styling our login form in the next episode. And I'll see you there. Bye.